Hello everyone and welcome to CMB Extra. I just wanted to make a quick little comparison video. Now we've got the new gameplay that came out a little while ago. We've got the 2019 demo gameplay and then we also have the original game. So I wanted to do a little comparison and talk about all three different versions of Balfour Bottom and kind of just pinpoint some of the differences specifically between the demo and the latest version and just have a little chat about all of that. So firstly starting off with the original game you have the whole same motion through the whole you know beginning area type of thing and of course you know it looks like a PS2 game because well I mean it is. The biggest difference of course is the textures there's of course different camera angles things a bit wider things are a bit more bland all that type of stuff. Typical PS2 differences like the game looked fine when it came out but it is really quite staggering seeing in comparison to specifically the latest version of the demo and specifically the conversation between Spongebob and Squidward even in comparison to the original demo, the new demo and this you can just see a complete difference in the different styles, the shading, all that type of stuff. It's pretty incredible and also the camera angles as well is completely different. Now in reality I find the biggest difference between these two different versions and also the versions uh, it's less of a noticeable between the two new demos, but the biggest like difference was immediately there's suddenly grass now, which when I first saw the gameplay, I was like, oh, I didn't know I needed grass in my SpongeBob games, but hey, you know, grass is pretty nice. So there's of course difference in lighting, and there's a big difference in lighting, color tones, and also uh, the warmth of the image between the two new demos. So you have the, the pre-alpha footage, which specifically in the IGN footage we've got has a bit, of a bit more warmer notes, the shadows are less defined, the colours are less, both less vibrant and also too saturated. It's a weird type of thing, but everything feels a lot more warm, whereas the new footage is a bit more standard tone. And once again, it's hard because we don't have a consistent capture of this game. Some captures look more saturated some captures look less it's quite frustrating but the main comparisons we can have are currently these two at the moment but take all that with a big grain of salt because it's been said multiple times that all that type of stuff will change and this is a pretty good proof of the consistent changing graphics wise between demo to demo the water looks quite different between the the two demos and of course looks extremely different between the original game and the new demos but the biggest changes in reality is of course lighting the original game still looks quite good, and in fact I really do like the way the game originally looked and I think it's still perfectly playable now, especially if you play it on the uh, Xbox 360 if you ignore some of the skybox glitches. The game looks fine, and especially enjoying it with a uh, Bluetooth remote, it's great. But then you have the big jump to the, to the next demo, which of course has those warmer notes and all that type of stuff, the grass has different hues, and the sky is specifically very different. But the main thing is the game has this demo at least, the pre-alpha, has a whole other level of jank to it that the original game didn't have and then by extension the uh, new demo also doesn't have and it's just those little bits of detail, that little bit of extra polish, those bits of extra animations, the movement from one animation to another animation, the particle effects, it's all that type of stuff, those little bits of detail and work that are the biggest changes or, or more or less. But then we have the next change, which is with the newest demo, a complete different, like it appears, time of day between the original demo and this demo. Which begs the question whether that was originally just a decision they made for the original demo to set it more afternoon, which would then explain the more yellow and orangey notes. But then also draws the question whether this game will have a day night cycle, and if so, how that will affect the levels intrinsically, and if we'll have then the levels will look completely different if it's night or is it just kind of day to afternoon type of look and then how does that affect levels like the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, what type of stuff because is a complete different sky and complete different lighting and the question was that just a choice they made for the one demo and they changed it for this or is that an actual feature in the game don't know, we will see, I'm not sure if someone's brought it up in the past now I've forgotten it, I'm sorry I don't remember <laughs> There's also some changes, of course, to models and that type of stuff, which I mentioned a little bit before, but different models of SpongeBob, different animations of SpongeBob, different tiki designs, that type of stuff. Just those little changes that, of course, show that the game is getting a lot more polish and a lot more work done to it, which I'm, of course, quite happy to see. But it's those broader kind of 
design choices that I'm most interested in with these videos. And it's clear that a lot of that is changing and evolving. And of course, this demo itself is most likely months old as it is, but it is interesting to see these changes. And I would like to see another demo in a few months of the same level at least, so we can have that third comparison and just see the different branches of development and progress and growth. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Thank you very so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.